Now to new developments in the mystery attack on American diplomats and their families in Cuba, and new cases under investigation. Representatives for those diplomats now claiming some Americans suffered traumatic brain injuries and permanent hearing loss at the U.S. Embassy in Havana. Here's ABC's David Curley. Word tonight that some American diplomats serving in Cuba are said to not only have suffered mild traumatic brain injuries, but also some with permanent hearing loss. The Foreign Service Association saying it met with 10 of those affected who were hit by the apparent sonic harassment attacks. Some officers are said to be also experiencing loss of balance, severe headaches, and cognitive disruption. A source says starting last December, the U.S. officials were exposed to a sonic device, which experts suggest could produce sound waves below and above human hearing, which could cause these symptoms. Some of the officials were medically evacuated. The news tonight coming from the officers' union, not the State Department, which has refused to reveal the diagnoses. But it did expel two Cuban diplomats in retaliation. We hold the Cuban authorities responsible for finding out who is uh, carrying out these health attacks. Cuba, Cuba says it has never used nor allowed its territory to be used to attack diplomats. Tonight, the State Department confirms to ABC News an expansion of the number of personnel affected, now standing at 19, the most recent attack just a month ago. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.